So hey guys, it's me Charlie, and this is my 20 week video on testosterone. Um, sorry if you hear random side noises, Cooper, my uh, white ferret, is running around in his cage right next to me. And also, if you could tell, I have a brand new backdrop. If you guys like it, let me know. I'm trying something new. I've seen it around on YouTube with random people's videos. Um, so I'm going to go through quick changes, update, and then I have a few random topics that are going on in my life. Uh, so as for changes, I've noticed that my hips are getting a lot thinner. Um, well, maybe not thinner, but a lot more rectangular. Um, and I've also gotten a decent amount of facial hair. I haven't shaved in a couple days. Like you could feel it and you could see it a lot more, but for, unfortunately, of course, the video doesn't really pick it up. So I'm gonna do a little show and tell of that. I kind of messed it up a little bit with the trimming, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes there. And you could tell that this side isn't quite catching up to this side, but you could see that this side is a lot fuller than this side. Because there's like the little gap right there. Um, I have been trying this thing where I take uh, what's left over my needle, the testosterone that's left over my needle, um, and putting that in with some facial moisturizer and rubbing it to my face. It's been my second or third week. I would like to say that it has helped, but I don't think that I could put in a valid, um, uh, I don't think I could have a valid, uh, I don't know, brain fart, but I, I don't think that I would be able to say for sure or not. There, there we go. Um, as for, um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for changes other than the hair, of course. It, every week is is hair. Uh, I think that's the general life of a trans person anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I don't matter if I talked about it in my last video, but I had a really big issue with my injection site. Um, if you've seen my video before where I did my hip injection, um, it's been working out, but up until a little bit ago, I had an issue where I injected and I got this really hard lump in my side where it was like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's like, um, I would say baseball size around, like circumference wise, but it wasn't as high. Um, and it was very, very hard. Uh, it's starting to go away now. It bruised for a bit. So I'm guessing I just don't have enough uh, fat to go, um, like fat tissue to support the testosterone in my hips because of the um, the changes that my body has been going through. So yeah, um, so I, I guess early in transition, hip injections are okay, later on not so much. Uh, let's see, I have a little paper here to make sure I don't start rambling, although I have a feeling that it will happen. Um, so yeah, so Saturday I'm having a party at my place, I'm really excited, can't wait. Um, yeah, and it's almost two weeks. I think like two, two and a half weeks until I move back to San Diego. My stepdad is coming in on the 24th, and I'm going to be gone by the 28th. Back to California. Um, let's see. So I've been doing a lot of workouts lately. Uh, well, I mean, not lately, but just because I'm kind of recovering from the Trans Health Conference, and I think I messed up my knee the other night. But, I mean, seriously, I was able to go three to four times as long on the treadmill. No, I don't do treadmills, so it's kind of bug me. On the... Uh, bike, like the little, um, like, bike, where like, in place, yeah, I don't know, I went, like, three or four times as long on that, and it was fantastic, it was so weird, before I was only able to do, like, five to ten minutes on there, and be completely wounded, and last time I was there, I did 45 minutes straight, just booking it through, it's, it's fantastic, um, it feels really good, before it was more of, like, a hassle, and now it just, like, just feels awesome, uh, yeah, so, that's been going on, and I noticed that my legs are getting a lot more muscular, from, I'm guessing it has a lot to do with the biking. And let's see. Oh, and I'm also, when I move back to San Diego, me and my grandmother's caretaker who lives with my parents, uh, well, like, lives in with my parents but doesn't sleep there. She comes for the day, yeah. So um, we're going to start doing the P90X. So I'm going to get all buff and ripped and whatnot if I stick to it. Hopefully I will. Um, so, yeah. Also news is, um, I've been trying to, well, I've been looking more and more into getting chest surgery. Uh, I, in no, I am in no way able to get the funds yet, just because I am unemployed, and my parents would not be able to support me with that. I mean, they support me, but they would not be able to financially support me with that. So I'm um, hoping someday soon I will get it. I'm looking at Dr. Uh, Michael Brownstein in San Francisco, California. He's done a lot of really great um, chest surgeries, and I saw when I went to the conference, I saw the show and tell, and um, I just I re I think that uh, he seemed Brownstein seemed like the more, he, of course he was closer, and he seemed like he uh, he had really really great results from what I saw, 
I mean, of course, the guys are showing off are ripped and whatnot, but anyway, yeah, so I definitely want to do Brownstein. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the background, if you have any um, words of advice for surgeons or anything, just let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but Cooper's being really ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah. I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a great weekend, and um, yeah, hit me up. Bye.